Hey there everybody and welcome to the next chapter of my Infraspace gameplay series. I'm Icon and we have built up our little settlement in the last episode. Here's the technology parlor. Here's where our people live at. Here we produce some food and some oxygen for people and it's all nice and small and quite <laughs> quite easy to handle. So we will today dive into new technologies, expand the town, and see where we'll end there. So, the first thing that I want to do is research large buildings, because that only needs blue science packs, and right now, my production of blue science is pretty, it's pretty good, you know? So we don't need to worry about that too much. So there's already the first little traffic jam here, as you can see. The iron has trouble passing through to the spot here so what can i do here so is there anything that i can configure here so okay i can tell this road how it should work that's pretty cool isn't it Well, so since every road has its own little segment, or I think every I can configure every one of these like that, and I I wonder how these uh, if these colors have some some meaning as well. We're gonna we're gonna find out. So what's definitely more and more clear is that we're not working out that well here. So let's see, can I can I transform these roads into concrete roads? No, I can't. Okay. And is there any advantage above a gravel road versus a concrete road? Okay, so I really hope that there will be an upgrade system in some in the near future, or maybe I'm not just not noticing it yet. Let's see. But I feel like, oh wait a sec, maybe here's something. Replace road, haha. -ha. So I knew that there must be some sort of uh, difference there. Oh yeah, look at them. Zoom! Alright, that's totally worth it. Just like I thought, the investment of green science packs for real roads was definitely worth the pain okay so this uh will speed up logistics quite quite well i hope okay then so i upgraded not everything yet almost everything okay nice we are also on our electricity production cap, I just noticed. Okay. There we go. So, traffic's a lot faster now. Mmm, this looking good. I would have been surprised if there had been no road replacement tool yet. That would be unfitting to the quality of life this game had in store for me so far. Now, I can upgrade, I can build parks, so let's go for aluminum mining next and computers after. Oh, I can't even queue things. Hell yeah. So these are all technologies only needing blue science packs, and farms and computers are providing better habitats. There we go. So, <clears throat> all in all, I feel like we are on a pretty decent spot. Hope. I'm not sure. Like, this all feels very, very um, wild and badly coordinated what I'm doing so far. Alright, let's slap down a park. It's the Spaceport Park. 
and let's see. Providing park. Yeah, so they're happy now. Blooming Universe Limited. Food Court. Relax Sector. I love it. Okay. So we're researching a way towards the computers. Is there anything I can do for her now? I mean, well, we do seem to have a decent storage of brain science packs available right now. But it's also slowing down my blue science um, production, so, well. Let's put up more of these, I'd say. Even if I need more carbon. And more iron, that's okay. So carbon can be put up here like that. Providing, hopefully, some production bonus here and the next thing that I'm going to learn is that I'm going to place down my productions closer to each other oh and we're uh, low on power yeah change that as well er why not there? Okay, extra power. So I have really no clue what the iron mine would collide with in this scenario, but I really don't judge it. <laughs> Now, let's go for another carbon extractor. Er, keep forgetting where they are. There we go. So now, not all my blue science pack production gets eaten right away by my green science factories that bothered me. Okay, my habitats are being upgraded. Let's see. Electronics production is looking quite well. Carbon production. I, I bet my oxygen production is way beyond what I need. Yep. Okay. So one thing that I really miss in this game is the is a third speed option. I feel like it would be really awesome if you could speed up the game a wee, a wee bit more. Okay. Another thing that crossed my mind was it would be really awesome if we'd upgrade our concrete production. I feel as if by now we really get to the point where we need more of that. I've unlocked computers. Yay! So we did both of these things. So now we can go for a microchip factory and a computer factory. Nice. Until then we're going to research solar panels. Now, let's check it out. So, the microchip factory requires sand and electronics. Not too much of a surprise there. And the computer factory needs electronics, microchips, and... Uh, what's the last part? I guess it's aluminum. But, all in all, I need way more population to, to get the job done here. So... Let's place a couple of them down. I'm pretty sure that my home appliance production will be will be not happy about this, but oh well. Good. Seems like everything's working out as intended so far. Except for the fact that I feel like my road system is a is a bloody mess, but well. One-way roads. This can be very, very useful in the future, too. So, what, what next? Food processing, fertilizer, carbon nanotubes, self-cleaning solar panels. More power for the solar panels. Hmm. 
uranium mining, but that's yellow science packs. By the way, yellow science packs. I haven't seen the next necessary... Ah, oh, here. Yellow science pack factory. No, we're going to start... Wait a sec. We're going to research the self-cleaning solar panels first, and these things. In that order. Thank you. So, solar power plant requires 200 concrete and 100 steel. And it's also quite bulky, all in all. Okay. Let's put up one of these, though, because I, I really like the amount of power they produce. So now I only wonder if they if they go off at night or not. But 50 megawatt is a really nice amount. Now... How much steel do I produce, actually? 7.5. Hmm, that's okay. I guess these are all production numbers per minute, so... We should be fine on that end. I also increased on population quite decently. The decent habitats are not upgraded yet, but it's already visible that my home appliances production is... is caving in. I, I pretty much expected that. I pretty much expected that. We're also going to need a ton of extra electronics now. Due to the fact that we want to produce computers. But when I want to produce computers, I need aluminum. And where do I get aluminum? There's sulfur. Up there, some aluminum. Okay. Anything less annoying to reach? Doesn't seem so. Okay. Too bad. So let's put the, the mine there. And let's see. What's going on there? Road too steep. And is there anything we can do about that? Or is that road segment just not possible? Hmm. Okay. So what shall we do with the with the drunken road? Somebody care to tell? Okay, looks like this monstrosity now seems to work. Although I'm really wondering, there should be an easier way of uh, getting the job done. So we don't have the necessary concrete now. Look at us struggling with the uh, with concrete for the first time. But I pretty much expected that at some point. Building is colliding with something, but as a matter of fact, it doesn't seem to bother <laughs> the game at all. Which is a little bit um debatable, but whatever. So this is a very, very long road to put up. I'm merely happy that this game features endless resources, so... But all in all, I need more concrete production. It's very, very easily noticeable that we're not getting that much further now. Oh god, this road looks like horrible to me. Hmm. Isn't there anything I can do about this this nightmare here? Don't tell me that this is the only way we can do this, please. So there's this part of the road where it's too steep. So let's try another thing. I pull this road a little bit there. Ah, look at here. That's better. 
Now it doesn't look like uh, some drunk madman has uh, had its say in this thing. So, microchip factory, sand and microelectronics. Microelectronics, iron and uh, copper. So, let's say copper is here, iron is here. Do we have another iron source in the vicinity? Not really, okay. But, well, let's see. I'd love to have yet another road somewhere here and somewhere there. <coughs> okay. And now, let's just say, let me put up a road up here. And I'm going to grab my, my copper from here. There we go. So the only thing I... It's lacking this, uh... The short power again, but... I'm surely gonna get there. And there we are. <laughs> okay, so... The power poles are colliding with the terrain, but they still work. Ooh, that's buggy. I'm exploiting! Sorry. Sometimes it happens to the best of us. So... The first thing I want to do is I want to put up the computer factory. Boom. And now it tells me what I don't have enough of. Huh? No? A oh, power. <laughs> yeah. Tell me something I didn't do. Okay. So, electronics. Let's put up a electronic factory here. And of course, we, we're going to need a microchip factory. Nobody's talking loud about it. We'll be needing that. And also, this, this concrete production is just way too low. We need more than that. And obviously, I need more than just one computer factory. The hunger here is way higher than that. So... We can't wait to get substations so we're able to fulfill our power a little bit less... Um, a little bit less oppressive, or however you want to put it. Okay, so we now need microchips and another computer factory. And yet more electronics. Yay, I've completed my self-cleaning solar panels research. So let's check out how much more powerful they got. So I only have one solar farm, and it's 50% more effective now, okay? That is quite a lot. Okay, so we need one more microchip factory. I'm not too surprised, to be quite honest. And with that all set up, we should be able to satisfy the needs of our citizens for yet the next habitat upgrade. Okay, so obviously my production rate, my production rates are okay. We do produce computers pretty soonish, I hope. Uh, they're still lacking the uh, microchips, aren't they? Okay. So they also produce only one unit of microchips per minute. Okay. Now this is where efficiency really um, grows more and more important, I'd say. Those vicinity bonuses are quite an interesting thing, I gotta, gotta admit. Alright. 
though, is there any household already upgraded with computers? And what's the city level or, or place here? City level 4. Okay, there's only two more levels available. Oh, no. Sag. Okay, let's... Uh, put up a couple of extra buildings here. We've unlocked wind turbine, better wind turbine blades. Nice. So, the radius of my wind turbines where they um, inflict diminishing returns on top of each other is now smaller. So we can now put down more of these. Alright. Hey, the first of them got computers. Nice. But we did definitely already start acting for more here. So, let's see. Let's put up another computer factory. And we need more electronics, of course. More microchips. More electronics. And more food for the first time. Nice. So, can't wait to upgrade those simple farms one day, too. Ah, let's just build two of them. They don't really cost me much energy. And it's already... It, there's already everything done then, you know. Okay, let's... Put up a, another copper mine over here to make sure that the transportation ways aren't too long here. There we go. We've unlocked one-way roads. Okay, I hope that this place will grow productive quite soon. Let's check out our next researches. Power substations. Well, motors. Well, large mines. Highways. Trains. Well, let's upgrade our roads next, because I really feel like whatever will be necessary for the next science packs, my roads that I'm using right now will be not up for that job <laughs> like no all right speaking about not up for the job i want more concrete factories at least one more that is so we need for the first time a new sulfur mine gladly do and we also need sand. Alrighty, there we go. So let's hope that three factories for concrete will be enough for now. And let's check out if we have already our first upgraded tier 4 habitat. Yeah. Yes. They are now residential buildings. They are no longer nice habitats now. They're fully-fledged residential buildings. Neat! Don't you think? Okay. So, our little place here is slowly growing into a city. There's one more thing I want to do, and that's amping up my green science production. But I'm slowly running out of population here a bit, so we'd better, we'd better do something about that, huh? Right. So, slowly I'm... Getting to the point where I notice how the drill... What's the drill here with this game, you know? There we go. I bet we need power, too. There we go. B 
beyond that, I think we're overproducing in every single aspect of the city. So there's, uh, this is the reason why I want uh, bigger highways, you know. There's just too much stuff that needs to be transported in and out here. But we gotta be getting there. Gravel roads, they almost cost nothing. But that's as effective as they are. Okay, so green science, I said before I noticed that my worker... That I didn't have many workers there, so let's see. I'm out of uh, electronics again. Alright. So, 5.2 units of green signs per sec. This is just not enough. We need more than that. So, one more electronics production there. I'm starting to realize that I should have put my electronics productions closer to the green science producers, but that was before I had any clue about this uh, vicinity bonus thing that the game runs. So, I kindly forgive myself. Alrighty. So the new roads will be available soon, but I also see one thing. There's not enough room for four-way four roads. So I bet I can't upgrade on onto the uh, to these. So I unlocked new technologies to research. Say what? Not really. <laughs> it's, uh, it's nothing visible that wasn't visible before. Probably an outdated information. Your city will be promoted to large town once you have at least 1,000 level 4 settlements. Citizens, I want to say. So, we unlock four lane roads. So, let's see. Replace road. Oh god, this is so good. I can't actually replace them all. Oh, good. Alright, nice. So, all we need to do now is to set up a new solar farm. How about doing this up there on this plateau? This is very fitting for me. And, uh, yeah, well... There's power. And since resources are infinite, and there's just a meager concrete cost behind upgrading these, I don't see the drawback of... Um, not upgrading my entire road network here. Although I can clearly see that I don't need to. This is absolutely overkill, but... You know what I say? There's no kill like an overkill, so... The concrete I'm spending right now will be regained in a couple of minutes, so... I don't care. What I do care about is... Watching my cars drive down these bigger highways in a sec. Oh, and also, we should research something. So, let's go for power substations. And... Let's see. Food processing. Hmm. No. I want to go for motors and large mines next. Because I, I got the feeling as if we really need a a serious power up in our in our mining capacities. So let's see how four lane roads will do the trick. And then we're going to roll towards the outro. Okay. 
Mm, so now we can see that yeah, we basically doubled the throughput on these streets. This is massive. This will help me a ton, and um, yeah, this provides enough transportation power for now to um, keep everything flowing, which is quite important, you know, because uh, we do need more in the long run. Okay. So, my dear friends, I thank you so, so much for watching. Next episode, I'm pretty sure that we're going to work ourselves towards the yellow science packs. I also am quite eager to find out what's up ahead of us in the other regards. So, so far, so good. So far, I'm enjoying myself a lot here. I don't know how long it'll last, though. But... That's not that important. I thank you for watching. So next run, we're going to be in for more expansions. Probably get the yellow science done already. Who knows? And drop me your comments down below. Leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And consider subscribing if you haven't done already. There's daily content coming up from my side. I'd be super happy to have you. Have a wonderful day. And I hope I'm going to see you guys soon.